Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to create my Monte Carlo inspired makeup look and I'm going to be using the new products that I have from the new Chanel Le Beige Summer 2022 makeup collection. I also have some important updates about the oversized Chanel Le Beige powders and I'm going to share with you also more information on how to choose the right one for you. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you love luxury beauty, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. I love Chanel. I love talking about luxury beauty and I love to share with you my reviews on luxury beauty products so that I can help you to make the right choices for yourself. And if you're returning, welcome back, dear friends. I'm so happy to have you here. Let me know if you're excited for the Le Beige makeup collection. It's currently available in Canada and Europe and soon it's going to be available in the US as well. Now I'm going to start doing my makeup and I want to do this like a chatty get ready with me. I have some updates that I wanted to share with you. So this look is going to be inspired by Monte Carlo because Chanel's cruise show this year was held on the French Riviera and I love Monte Carlo. I often go there especially in the summer months I prefer Monte Carlo in the spring season, but anyway, so I'm going to start. I already prepped my skin. I don't have anything apart from my skincare. You can see that I'm quite glowy. When I think of Monte Carlo and the French Riviera, I think of this really glamorous, very polished skin. So that's why I did really nice skincare. I'm going to start with my favorite Le Beige Eau de Tint, and I have it in the shade Light. And... It's a little bit paler for my skin tone right now, so that's why I'm just going to use it a little bit under my eyes. In my previous video, I shared with you that, okay, you can see how light it is. So that's why I'm just going to use, I used one pump and I'm just going to use to highlight some points of my face because right now I definitely need to use medium light if I want to match my skin tone perfectly. So I'm just going to apply a little bit just to have this highlighted effect and also I can afford that because you can probably see that my neck is a shade paler than my face. Next I'm going to be using my Numero 1 de Chanel foundation. I'm wearing the shade B10 in the foundation. Everything is going to be in the description box. I'm getting half a pump and I'm not even going to use the whole half a pump because usually when I think of Monte Carlo and the French Riviera and Côte d'Azur, I usually think of a very light glowy complexion without much makeup and the kind of makeup that is going to be especially for the complexion, I think of not much makeup, but just this very healthy looking skin, which I think that Chanel's Le Beige makeup collection is all about creating this very healthy and glowing complexion. So that's why I'm just going to use the Le Beige, the Numero 1 foundation, mostly like to even out some, to even out my skin tone a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to take also some of the foundation and apply on my eyelids just to prep them for the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using. And I actually used even less than half a pump because you, you see that I still have plenty of foundation left, but I'm not going to be using it because I just want to have this fully transparent, glowy skin. It's all about the skincare for me. When I think of the French Riviera, when I think of Côte d'Azur, Monte Carlo, I think of a very glowy, very polished skin, but naturally beautiful skin. So I would say that I would rely more on the skincare part and use less makeup. So I'm going to write in the description box also some of my favorite products, like let's say exfoliated skin, really smooth, complexion. My lips are so pale, I need to apply a little bit of lip balm. So I'm going to be using my favorite Guerlain lip balm. This is one of the B lip balms. And this is just going to be to moisturize my lips and to prep them for the lipstick and also to feel a little bit better for you guys and to look actually a little bit better for you because I see on the camera that I was so pale. Now I'm going to be moving on to the new cream bronzer. So the new cream bronzer is number 392. I showed it in my previous video where I reviewed the collection. So in case you want to see more close-ups in natural light of this bronzer, I'm going to link to my previous video. But have a look at this. 
it is a medium shade so it's a little bit darker than the original bronzer and it's paler than the deep so this one is a medium shade so it's called 392 soleil tan medium bronze and i really like the color now i don't Thing that it looks orangey on me I'm going to apply it now so that um, because I know that a lot of you were complaining that this bronzer the original one looks orangey on me I don't think that it looks orangey I have neutral skin tone I'm going to be using a clean brush with this bronzer and I'm using just a little bit okay you can see how it looks on my arm on my hand I think that it doesn't look orangey on me but let me go ahead apply this I, I mean it looks exactly um it actually mimics the color of my skin when I get a suntan so this is something that I love I don't usually stay long in the sun like I never really tan because of the sensitivity of my skin so I like to fake it a little bit and I'm going to apply a little bit on my nose. But I find that when I'm light-handed, apply just a little bit, it just brings the color back to my face. And I don't want to use a lot because I'm going to be using the oversized Healthy Glow Powder as well. Okay, so this is how it looks. And I like that the fact that this bronzer actually melts into my skin so beautifully. I'm going to apply a little bit of powder just the center of my face, but later. And now we are moving on to the star of this year's Le Beige Summer 2022 makeup collection, and these are the oversized healthy glow powders. Now I have some clarification to make here. I am based in Europe and in Europe we only have the oversized Healthy Glow Sun Kissed powders. We have three shades available, light, medium and deep and they're supposed to match all skin tones. I'm going to talk a little bit more about how to choose and how to use them later. But before that I wanted to mention that there are actually two more of these oversized powders but they are highlighters. Now I'm very curious to see what is going to what the collection is going to look like in the US because at the time when I'm filming this video the collection is still not available in the US but be sure to check out the description box I'm going to add links as soon as the collection launches in the US. So right now Canada is the lucky country where they have all five powders five oversized powders. I'm going to insert photos. So there are two highlighting powders. One is tender pink and the other one is soft peach. And then there are three Le Beige Healthy Glow Sun Kissed powders, light, sunshine light, sun kiss medium, and some bath deep. So I spoke to a couple of Chanel consultants that I have here in Europe and I believe that in Europe we are not going to get the highlighting powders. We are only going to have the sun-kissed powders. And yes, if you are in Canada, you are going to be very lucky. I have this powder in the shade light and in a minute I'm going to apply it. I'm going to give you also my tips on how to use these powders. They are supposed to be used on the face and body. Same with the highlighting powders. So on the first promo photos that were released on Instagram, they only had the Healthy Glow Sun Kissed powders and I didn't actually expect that there were highlighters until I saw my very good friend Alison Chase. She's based in Canada and she has actually one of the highlighters. So the highlighters that she has chosen is the Soft Peach. So if you want to see the highlighter, um, be sure to check out Alison's video. She is going to create a look using the products that she has from the Le Beige makeup collection. So since she's based in Canada, she was able to purchase one of the highlighting powders in Peach and it looks absolutely stunning on her. I'm a little bit jealous that we don't have them in Europe and that we are probably, it's almost sure that we're not going to get them illuminating powders in Europe. And um, it's very strange because actually on the French website, these powders they announce them as illuminating powders, but they are actually the sun kissed powders. So anyways, it's a little bit of confusion with this makeup collection. We are going to see what you guys are going to have in the US. I'm very curious to see if you're going to receive the highlighters or not. But Alison has also this sun kissed powder in deep. So she has the highlighter in peach and um, 
bronzing powder in deep so you're going to be able to see actually how the deepest color from this collection looks and you're also getting the added benefit of hearing a few phrases in Portuguese because she's actually right now getting ready to travel to Portuguese. So I suppose that her look, the look that she's going to create is probably going to be inspired by Por Portugal, we are going to see. But for sure, I know I spoke to her yesterday and I know that we are going to hear a few phrases in Portuguese, which is going to be amazing. I'm really excited for that. Be sure to check out her channel uh, just to see the, how the highlighter looks and to see also how the deep um, bronzing powder looks. I have this powder in the shade light. Now I'm going to start applying it on my face. So I've already used my Le Beige Oversized Sun Kissed Powder in light for a couple of days and I have to say that I am addicted to this powder. It is so soft, it has a light blurring effect so on the places where I apply it on my skin it just blurs my imperfections. I'm going to be using the new oversized Kabuki brush. This is how it looks and I'm just going to... I pick up a lot of product immediately. So these powders are not firmly pressed. I need to take it on the back of my hand, but they just look so natural and beautiful. You're going to see now when I start applying them. I have the shade Light, which warms up my skin just enough and I am actually very tempted to purchase this powder in the medium shade. I'm also very excited about the upcoming Chanel concealer. I mentioned that there is going to be a new Water Fresh concealer and Water Fresh blushes. The blushes have been available. So I find it actually, I, I feel so addicted to this powder, the finish of it, that I actually started applying it all over my face. I shouldn't do that because it is a little bit dark for me to use all over the face. So I definitely shouldn't do that. But I just feel so tempted to use this powder. Like wherever I apply it, it just gives such a beautiful soft focus effect. I would absolutely 100% recommend getting one of those powders because they look stunning on the skin. And I really like also the Kabuki brush because it's quite generous. I was afraid at first to use it on my face, but actually it works beautiful on the face because it just spreads the powder so beautifully. Okay, you can see now the glow that, um, like the color that my skin gets. And I'm going to use it also on my body. Now I would like to share with you quickly my tips on how to choose the right powder for you and how to use it. So from the Sun Kissed powders, there are three colors available, light, medium, and deep. I'm going to try and swatch um, actually the other two colors in my local Chanel um, boutique in one of my next videos so that you can see what is the difference. But I think that these three powders are going to suit all skin tones. Now I know that a lot of you think that the deep shade here is not that deep. However, keep in mind that this is supposed to be like um, very soft focus powder. It's not supposed to give you a bronzed sculpted look. It's not supposed to make you who you are not. It's not supposed to change the way you look, to change your appearance dr dramatically. It's just supposed to enhance what you already have. It's just supposed to enhance your natural skin. And that's why I think that for people who have fair skin tone, definitely go for light. It's going to warm up your complexion beautifully. Just make sure to be light-handed and apply it not all, all over the face, but just apply it like I did, almost like a blush and a little bit just on um, the forehead, but very up on the forehead, probably on the jawline, but not all over the face because it's going to be too dark for people who have fair skin tone. For those of you who have light skin tone, you can choose the light or the medium one or even the deep one, I believe, because it depends on the effect that you would like to achieve. So if you have light to medium skin tone, I think that you can use the light powder, even it's all over setting powder, I think it's going to look absolutely gorgeous because of the soft focus effect that it gives. So just make sure to use the powders in a way that is going to enhance your natural beauty. And even the deep shade, I believe, is going to look beautiful on deep skin tones. I think that it's deep enough because once again, it's not supposed to give you a sculpted look. But of course, if you have light light medium skin tone and you get the deep powder you can use it instead of a 
bronzer and you can use it as a bronzer you can use it if you want to achieve this sculpted look but that's not the main idea of these powders the main idea is just to enhance what you already have not to give you a sculpted contoured bronzed look it's just the idea is to give you this healthy looking complexion a little bit of a soft focus effect on the skin and just to celebrate your natural beauty. That's what I like to call about Chanel because I believe that their whole philosophy is about celebrating your natural beauty. So that's how you're supposed to use those powders. And I think that they're going to match absolutely beautiful, even the deepest skin tones. They are just going to enhance the complexion. For example, if you have rich skin tone, I believe that you can use even the medium powder, just the way I use the water fresh tint. So you can apply it just on the center of the face, on places that you want to stand out, on places that you want to emphasize. And I think it's going to look beautiful because it is such a sophisticated veil. The formulation of the powder is velvety, soft, smooth. It gives this amazing soft focus effect. Enough with my rumbling. You know that I, you get the point. I love Chanel um, and I love the powders as well. So let me go ahead and apply a little bit on my neck and I'm not going to be applying anything on my shoulders because I want to use the new dry oil. And I'm going to be using a little bit of Chanel loose powder with my beauty blender just a little i'm going to tap everything actually on the back of my hand and i barely have any powder i just want my skin not to be very shiny only on this part where i'm naturally going to get very shiny so i want to keep the glow on my skin i want to keep my skin alive but at the same time i want to make sure that throughout the day i'm not going to get oily and I forgot to fill in my brows I'm quickly going to fill in my brows now um, but I was just I just wanted to chat with you in this video because I am very impressed so I'm going to make sure that I'm going to write that down all of the products that I'm using on my face today I'm going to write them in the description box because I just wanted to chat with you I felt very inspired to create this Monte Carlo inspired makeup look because Le Beige, Chanel's Le Beige makeup collection is one of the collections that I expected the most because it celebrates the summer and it's such an effortless chic collection. So I really, really would love for you to try the oversized um, healthy glow powders. I haven't tried the highlighters. Alison has had the pleasure to try them, but like it looks the peach shade that she has it looks so beautiful on her so I'm using just a little bit of clear wax brow wax from Sigma this one I have been loving I've used it in the past week and I absolutely love it especially for the summer because you can just um, put it in your handbag use it very quickly just um, sets the brows even if you forget and I actually keep it in my handbag because I often just um, go out with only sunscreen without any foundation, without any makeup and, and then I just remember that I need to set my brows and it's very easy to use on the go. Now once I finish my eyes and choose my lipstick, I'm actually going to apply a little bit more of the Healthy Glow Powder just here on my cheeks. But before that, let me go ahead and do my eyes. For my eyes, I'm going to be using one eyeshadow palette that I believe is perfect for Monte Carlo and for the French Riviera and for Côte d'Azur. It just gives me these vibes. This is the Sigma Ambience palette. This one was sent to me complimentary from Sigma and I think that these colors are so beautiful for the French Riviera. It's just all of these beautiful neutral colors are stunning and I'm going to be using my favorite color in this palette and this is Luster. So I absolutely love luster and then candlelight as well. These are my two favorite colors from the palette. So I just want to go ahead and swatch them for you. So this palette is so incredibly creamy. You can basically apply the colors with your fingers if you're someone like me. So on my middle finger is the luster and then candlelight is on my ring finger. But you have a variety of colors. You have metallic shimmery colors. You have also neutral matte colors. It's just a dream come true for someone like me who loves neutral colors. And also the brush that comes inside is very, very high quality. You basically don't need another brush, additional brush. Actually, I also have there two new eye primers and one of the eye primers, I admit, 
I used it already just this eyeshadow because it's so beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them now so that you can see. One is a matte and the other one is more shimmery. I'm going to do a video where I'm going to show you swatches in natural light of these products. I'm going to go ahead and use the matte primer. I'm going to apply a little bit and then blend with my brush. Now back to luster. I'm going to apply this color all over my eyelid and a little bit in the crease. Okay, so this is the color all over my eyelids and I like that it's um, a shimmery color, but a very it has a very sophisticated shimmer. It doesn't really have shimmer, I would say it's more like a kind of a very smooth metallic finish that looks beautiful in the sunshine and also in the shadow. It's a gorgeous color and then I'm going to be using Enrich, which is a matte brown color. I'm going to use just a little on my crease, in my crease. And once again, here we are aiming for the very effortless look that's inspired by the Monte Carlo lifestyle. It's going to be a very relaxed look. You don't want to spend hours to do your makeup. You just want to look glowy, sun-kissed and to enjoy life. Okay, and that's all that I'm going to use on my eyes. I'm going to apply a little bit of my favorite Cole eyeliner from Chanel in Brun Cuivre and then a little bit of mascara and I'm going to be back for the lipstick. Okay, so this is with the mascara on and I definitely can afford to use a little bit more of the Healthy Glow Sunkissed Powder. I think that, yes, I can definitely use more. And I'm actually very tempted to get the medium powder as well because I think that in the summer as my skin gets a little bit more color I'm going to benefit from a little bit deeper blush. Now moving on to the lipstick and I have two options here. One that I usually like to use when I go to South of France is my favorite beige eau. This is the most beautiful neutral color from Chanel. And this is the color that I like to use for every day. I have mentioned this color so many times. It's my number one nude color because it has exactly the right amount. It's a beige nude color, but it doesn't make me look um, pale or washed out. It just gives me a very nice look. And it has those tiny little golden particles in there. And then the other color is one of the new Rouge à Loire L'Extrait and this one is Brun Affirmé. This one has a little bit of red, it has a little bit of brown. It's a very, very pretty color. And I think I'm going to go for Brun Affirmé. Okay, and this is Brun Affirmé. I believe that this color is even going to allow me to bronze my skin a little bit more because you can see that it immediately made my complexion much paler. Um, however, I don't feel the color. I don't feel the color for the French Riviera. I just feel it a little bit too formal than I would like to, so I'm gonna change. Okay, so this color feels a lot more like myself and it feels a lot more like the French Riviera. It feels a lot more Monte Carlo because it is quite effortless. It's it really, I can put it very easily in my handbag. I can reapply without a mirror, without worrying actually. So it feels a lot more like it gives me more Monte Carlo effortless lifestyle vibes. Okay, and now I just zoomed out a little bit so that you can see my shoulders. I'm going to be applying the gorgeous, what I like to call it like a liquid gold oil. I would recommend this body oil, especially if you're planning to have a beach vacation, a summer vacation. I think that this is going to look so beautiful if you wear a top where your shoulders can be seen. Of course, during the summer, usually your legs are going to be seen, your arms. And I think that it adds a very luxurious touch. The shimmers are not really visible. They are very fine, probably in the sunshine, but in such a lovely and sophisticated way. And also the oil smells 
phenomenally good. Now, if you want to see a close-up of the oil, I'm going to link my review and I showed you actually. So this is a dry oil, so I would suggest you to moisturize beforehand and use this oil just on top like a beautifying product and to seal in the moisture, but don't use it to replace your moisturizer, your body moisturizer. For sure, use a moisturizer first. And the sheen you can see is very subtle. You can barely see it. Now I have natural light coming and I'm not sure if it's going to be visible probably a little bit yes okay we have a little bit of shine a little bit of glow here on my shoulder nothing too dramatic which is something that i adore about chanel okay here we go again a little bit of glow i adore this oil and as i mentioned the previous time it has the scent of the hydra of the chanel hydro beauty skincare line but it's a lot more muted and somehow this makes it even more beautiful and more sophisticated and it can be used on the face body and hair i showed you the previous time also i used it on my hair now i'm just going to get a very little drop and I'm going to, I like to tap it right here on the high points of my face because I just like how it makes my skin a little bit more alive. It immediately gives a little bit of juiciness to my skin. It makes me look a little bit younger and well, we all want to look a little bit younger. Okay, now is a very final touch. I'm just going to get a little bit of the lavage powder. Tap on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply only here, just a little, because I feel like here I'm a fraction paler. And I think this is going to be my Monte Carlo inspired makeup look. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my video. I always appreciate it so much when you choose to spend some time with me and when you choose to watch my videos, it means so much to me. I truly enjoy communicating with you and being part of this wonderful beauty community that we have created here together. I'm going to leave a link in my description box to Alison's channel in case you want to go check out and see also the oversized highlighter and the deep shade of the sun-kissed powder. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.